very clear that the only way we overcome, the only way we have victory is by faith. Yes. The word just reading it and just putting it in your heart becomes powerful the moment you speak it out it and it changes it. the atmosphere. So let's encourage them, speak to your mountains and see them move because Jesus said, the earlier we come together, the better for us. So I can use what you have. We lock here. We lock there. And that's it. We move on. We come back. about this program. The Word of God is a powerful tool that every believer should be skilled in in order to live in the abundant, victorious life that Jesus has won for us. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 it says, Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you can stand against the attacks of the enemy. One translation says stand against his deceit and against his strategies. In this program of the higher life, we are discussing the armor of God. And to help me take the truth of God's word piece by piece into our hearts so we can apply it practically, I have brought some friends along with me. Won't you welcome my panel? From Real Woman, Real Life Ministries and Television Program, Tracy Treadray. And all the way from Vintuk, Namibia, from Women of Vision Ministries, we have Titi Goru. And from Lady Rose Magazine and Ministry, we have none other than Linda Shooter. And from Kamim Ministries, we have Ankia van der Merwe. Welcome, Ankia. <laughs> Today's program, we're going to be dealing with the third part of this powerful piece of armory called the shield of faith. God's word is so rich in how we can apply it to our lives. Won't you come with me now as we find out a little bit more on how to activate it in our lives. again ready to get into the word i have my amazing team with me and we are going to source out everything we can concerning this very powerful shield of faith we've learned so much already but let's see what else god has for us and i know that you're going to be blessed as you're watching in the studio audience this is going to be a treat a meal to really take in what god has for us tracy let's start with you now, the, over the last few episodes, we've spoken about what the shield looked like, the weight of it. But something that we haven't spoken about really is how the Roman soldiers got into different battle formations. Now, Linda, you briefly mentioned, I think, last, on the last episode, where how they would line up. But one of the formations that they would get into absolutely marvels me. It was called, I may say it incorrectly, Setsudu. I probably am saying it incorrectly, an Italian name. Sounds Japanese. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be Italian, so Tetsuru, I don't know. But anyway, at the, whatever, however it's pronounced, it means tortoise. Right. So the Ro Roman soldiers would get into this battle formation called tortoise. So what is this? It is just so awesome. Standing on my own, I've got my shield. But then as soon as I link up next to Titi, she's got her shield. As ah. soon as Linda links up her shield into Titi's shield, and so on and so on. But it wouldn't be a straight line. It would form the shape of a tortoise mm. even on the roof. Very now, good. what is the significance of shield locking with shield? Mm. When the enemy would come, even with chariots, mm. even with horses, even the army itself, it would, there was absolutely no way that the enemy would be able to get into the ranks of this mm. army. Impenetrable. They, it was impenetrable, totally. Literally, the, the chariots with the horses would ride over it and they would not be able to hurt them. How? Through unity. Wow. It's the most powerful, 
powerful thing. Awesome. Shield locked with shield. Back to back, we face the enemy, and the enemy has got no way of getting in. Whoa, he's powerful. Powerful. We were never meant to do this alone. We were never ever meant to do this alone. And it's not just God in us, it's God in all of us. And we're all seen in the spirit. Yes. Oh, I have to throw this in quickly. Do you remember the Tower of Babel? Yes. Yeah. Right. right in the beginning. Yeah. They, God destroyed their plans because they saw themselves as being invincible because of their unity. In fact, the word says because they were so unified, there was nothing that would be impossible for them. Yes. Woo! So when we are powerfully united together in faith, nothing is impossible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Psalm 133 says, How good and, ple and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell, dwell together, together in, in unity. unity. When you go further down, it says, Their God commands His blessing and life yes. forevermore. Yes. Now, as we are here, we are united. Can you imagine if all the pastors, the churches will yes. come together wow. and we have one thing? Just like you mentioned, yes. the Tower of Babel, right. they had one thing, one thing they were looking at. Not this one for me is uh, his kingdom there, yes. another one kingdom Whoa. there. We are not powerful when we do that. Yeah. But when we come together, we become a united force. Yes, mm. for the kingdom. Oh, yes. Of oh, God. yes. And then we can take this kingdom to the rest yes. of the world. Yes. Whoa. Now. God has blessed us with a forum like this, mm. FBN, mm. Yeah, where we can talk together. Mm. Yeah. This is a place we can all come in and support this work yes. and yes. do yeah. something about it that we send out the voice into, into Africa, not only Africa, oh, to, oh. to the rest of the world. Then we have a strategy because you are doing your own thing there. She's doing her own thing there, as you said. If we just one shield there, one shield there, you are not powerful. We stand alone. The enemy yeah. can take you down. The word of God says two are better than one. It yeah. said one church takes away a what? A thousand, yeah. two, mm -hmm. ten thousands. Can you imagine if all wow. of us yes. we come together? And say, this is what we are, we are doing because Jesus said he's coming back for a church until yes. we come into the unity, yes. unity, yes. In faith. He's coming back for a church without spot nor wrinkle. He's not coming back for, what is the name of real, real, re, real woman, real life. He's not coming back for women, women of vision. He's <laughs> not coming back for Lady Rose or... Damn. Okay, and you're so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is coming back for the church. The earlier we come together, the better for us. So I can use what you have. Yes. Yes. We lock here. Yes. We lock there. And that's it. We move on. We conquer. We conquer. Thank you. Thank you. If you look at the formation uh, that they form, where the chariots just drive over, you only see the outside and it all looks the same. Right. Inside, you've got your individual people that wow. holds these things up. Wow. So if you look at the outside, all of us look like Christ when we're dressed in the armor. So when we reflect Christ as a unity, we become powerful, even though we're different on the inside. And what do you think the enemy is feeling? I mean, really, yes. what would the enemy be feeling? Yes. Yeah. He, he has a field day with us yes. because as long as he keeps us divided yes. and right. in our own little kingdoms, yes. right. oh please, we are a piece of cake for him. He yes. doesn't. That's yes. true. Even yeah. with our yeah. armor yeah. on, yeah. even That's with true. our armor, we are so yeah. vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. We are vulnerable. Yeah. I mean, he can he can do what he wants with us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he can't, but anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There is nothing really protecting us from the back, from the back. except each other. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Good one. Wow. Like and that's the yeah. thing wow. that women struggle with the most. They walk into a room and, oh, she's got nicer legs than me or nicer hair, like we said the other day. The insecurity. The insecurity yeah. and identity. But if we come 
in my weakness, you guys fill me. Yeah. Um, in your weaknesses, we fill you yeah. and we strengthen each other. Yeah. So if we as the body and as women can do that, we will form yeah. that That's formation. Right. Whoa. Yes. We each cheer other each other on. To break each other down. So do you think, just, I'm just throwing this out here, do you think that in the world, kind of like generally, do you find that men are more um, having to stick to their identity and the oh, ego? Yes. And mm. women, we can actually just like... Yeah. Who cares about titles and who cares about mm, names yeah. and who cares mm. about, yes. you know, my kingdom? Yes. Mm. We can do it together. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm going to oh. jump in here again. Lisa Bevere puts this really beautifully. I love she Lisa. wrote this oh, yeah. book called Lioness Rising. Mm. Yeah. And what I love that the way she explains it is that the male lion hunts on his own, but the lionesses mm. hunt together. Packs. Yes. Back. Yes. We <laughs> hunt in packs. We weren't created as women to do this on our own. Yes. And as men, we were not created yeah. to do this on our own. But yet what do we do we try to do it on our own yeah, yeah. Yeah. i can do it i'm good i'm not going to get her to help because what if she what if she speaks better than me and then she comes and takes my platform and then i lose my platform and <gasps> you know yeah. we start fearing losing what god has given us we instead of saying if titi can speak better than me you may have my platform yeah, because please. it's not about yeah. me yes it's yes. about the world it's about saving the loss saving the soul yeah. that is what it's about I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, yes, yes, I can see. Oh, I can see the hands. <laughs> personal about behind the scenes and I think the women should hear this that when we do the question and answer we help each other yes if it's if it's if it was for instance I mean Rana was here or Ankia was here she'll say what do you think and they will say use this scripture yes because none of us feel threatened by supporting Absolutely. the other one and building that one up Absolutely. so even behind the scenes that is yes. what's happening we, we work, as, we work as one we work as yes. a team yes. Absolutely. Absolutely and I don't think it's only just for ministries I think families yes families nowadays you know everyone the children are doing their own thing husband mm. is so busy the mother is so busy even in ministries mm. but right. even in the world right. and I think even if if we start within families mm. again to form a shield mm. together in Very unity good, yeah. our families will change and when families are united yes. then because what is ministries mm. we are made out of families yes. correct yes. and if our families are united yes. ministries will be united absolutely yes. even break it down to marriages yes. it's like yes. one yeah. just you and your husband mm. yeah. if you've got each other's backs yes. Mm -hmm. yes. the enemy will never get in Brilliant. but if you if you're standing full armored here and your husband's standing full armored there and you're not protecting each other the enemy is going to win he is yeah. going to have a field day with yeah. you but if you back to back yeah. You know, in that those pictures of those, those country westerns where they're standing back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, if you back to back with each other, yeah. the enemy will yes. never get in. You've yeah. got yeah. to have each other's backs. Mm -hmm. You've got to. I love to. it. I absolutely love it. This whole thing of the shield of faith has brought a whole new dimension into mm -hmm. it. But it has everything to do with having one purpose yes. and yes. one goal. And the word makes it very clear that the only way we overcome, the only way we have victory is by faith. Yes. Yes. It's by faith. Yes. And what is the one thing that unites us all? It is Jesus, yes. but Jesus is everything. Yes. I mean, we've learned that. Yeah. But it's our faith. faith yeah. It's and our faith, faith in God. Him. Our yeah. faith in Him. That's it. We so, said it together. So. It is our faith in God that keeps us together. And if we could just get over ourselves, yes. wouldn't that be refreshing? Oh, wonderful. We knock each other's shields off constantly. Yeah, sure. you know, somebody's trusting God for something and you go and verbalize, I'm trusting God for breakthrough in this, I'm trusting the Lord for new this, and they go, oh, wow, that's a bit, that's a bit the far reach. Mm. You sure? Mm. Maybe you shouldn't reach so high, maybe trust here. And what are Whoa. we doing by doing that? We're actually knocking each other's shields. Yeah. Yeah. We're chucking it away. Yeah. Yeah. And instead, instead of being inspired of, by each other. Instead of being inspired by each other mm. and lifting the shield up, when you get weak, I can lift your shield up yeah. Mm. Yeah. with you when we are yeah. standing in the correct battle yeah. formation because we do yeah. get weak. Mm. Absolutely. And I have to pull this in now because you've just made me remember something as well, hearing people speak when problems do come. And yes, we all get discouraged. All of us do. And, and as we've mentioned before, even Jesus got mm. discouraged. Yeah. So discouragement isn't the thing. But when you get to back feeling weak together, don't have a pity party. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. right. Don't have a pity party. Mm -hmm. Then start saying, well, what does the word say? Yes. And encourage each other in yes. the oh, word. word. Yeah. Because yeah. as you speak the word and you hear the word and you hear yeah. the word and you hear the word, faith comes yes. and those shields come up yeah. together. Yeah. While we're having a pity party together, there's mm -hmm. no shield. Mm -hmm. And we're just an open target again for the enemy. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. that he can take us all out at one time. Mm -hmm instead of just individually. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand when there is unity, what are you unified in? 
What is the thing that keeps you strong, that keeps the shield up, that you become a formidable force against the enemy? And it is the shield of faith. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Come on, ladies. Yeah, the word of God says in 1 John 5, 4, whatsoever is born of God mm. overcomes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our, our faith. faith. Yes. So that means you are born an overcomer. Mm. And we always look at life from the victory, victory side. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't look at yourself as a wimp or look at yourself, oh, the devil is after me. No, the word of God says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I don't care what the enemy put around me, but one thing I know, as you said about the angels, the Lord encamp, is the word of God says, yes, the angel right. of the Lord encamps around, encamps around yeah. us. Yeah. And you have to watch what comes out of your mouth. Even in difficult situation, you, the word of God says, I will do to you according to the very thing I yeah. hear you <laughs> say. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. And then they say, shall, those, those who love the fruit shall eat, eat no, the, those who love mm -hmm. it shall eat the it's fruit, the, the fruit yeah. of it. So you've got to Keep your mouth with the word. When you wake up in the morning, you feel down. Who cares whether I feel down? This is the day the, Lord, the Lord has, has made. made. And yes. I will rejoice. Yes. You know you can yes. fake something. Women, we are good at faking things. <laughs> fake <up>. nails. <laughs> 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 well, we can fake things. So even when you feel bad, fake that you are good. Yes. <laughs> it is called fake. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. That is it. It's exactly what, what I spoke about, keeping your mouth closed. Yes. If you don't have something to say that's in line with the word, yeah. then keep it closed until something comes. That's right. And then speak it, even if you do not feel it, because yeah. we are not moved not by our feelings. Yeah. We are moved by faith. And so is all of heaven Amen. ready to back us. Doesn't that remind you of the scripture in Deuteronomy where it says, life and death, yeah. Yeah. Blessing, and curse. blessing and curse, they're yeah. all before you. Yeah. It's all there for you. Now you choose life. That's right. You choose that faith. Yeah. Come on, Ankia. Uh, isn't it amazing how, how it says that if we have faith, we can move a mountain. But how did Jesus say when he said to them, if you see a mountain in front of you, what must you do? He said, speak. Mm, yeah. uh -huh. So uh, what we've been saying this whole time, and I think there's so many people listening or, or watching the program and saying, but, you know, I have this mountain and I've been praying so long. Maybe it's time to speak, mm -hmm. ah, to utter the word and yeah. to declare it because the word just reading it and just putting it in your heart becomes powerful the moment yeah, you speak it out and it changes the atmosphere. So let's encourage them. Speak to your mountains and see them move because Jesus said, yeah. and it's working. Yep. Yeah. And again, your words have to be backed up by your, your heart. Yes. Yes. Believe so the and word, speak. it's and it's amazing how many times, and I know that the faith church has been, I say the faith church, the church is faith, but nonetheless, yes. in, in the, as far as the faith movement, if I can put it that way, has been criticized as being the naming and claiming and naming and claiming and just speaking. But you know what? Just speaking the word is going to do nothing yes. for you because the yes. devil speaks yes. the word to yes. you. Yes. It's believing the word yes. of God. Yes. And the only way you believe it is if you are in it, reading it and hearing it yes. and speaking yes. that word. Yes. And we've spoken about this as well before in the other pieces of the armor. And as we said, everything links up. It all interlinks all the time. Yes. So when I am in a place of feeling defeated or I'm feeling overwhelmed or I'm feeling like my joy is going, you get into the word and you read it and you you read it until you mm. get to the place that bah, faith is created. How do I know it? You will know it. You won't even have to ask the question yeah, because right. something comes alive on the inside of you. Those words aren't just words anymore. You've actually pictured them in your own life. You've seen that. And when you see it, faith then only operates when you speak it. It's with your heart you believe and with your mouth that you confess and the action is required because faith without works it's dead do you have any last thoughts linda just the last thought on obeying that that thing of where we obey blindly 
Um, when you, when, when I speak about blind obedience, is when you become blind in your flesh mm -hmm. and you start seeing what God is seeing. Yeah. So you're denying your emotions, you're denying your your oh, flesh, good. you're denying what you feel, what you sense, what you, mm -hmm. and you're surrendering unto God and saying, Lord, I will walk by faith, not by sight. I will walk by your sight mm -hmm. and not by what I see. Yeah. So if, if you just do that, and where you can start is in the Word. Yes. Because this is God. This is what He has written. Every Everything is handpicked and written by God, even though men wrote it. You look into this, this is the truth, and this is what you then walk by. Yeah. I love that, and it makes me think of Psalm 1 again. I remember, I think, well, obviously, I don't know, but where the Word of God first became very real to me, where I could understand this process, was from Psalm 1. Yes. Because it tells you step for step what not to do, yes. and it tells you step for step what to do. Yes. And when you follow those instructions, everything you do will prosper, yes, that's and right. you will have great success. Yes, and I found if you can just start with one, start with Psalm 1. Mm -hmm. Start there mm -hmm. and begin to see. Don't start with the skinnering. Okay, what's the, the international gossiping. word for that? Don't start with gossiping. gossiping. Mm -hmm. Forget about the gossiping. Stop, don't be critical. Stop mm -hmm. being critical and having a critical yeah. spirit. Yeah. Stop being judgmental. Mm -hmm. Rather, get to the place where you speak the word yes. of God. Mm -hmm. Our studio audience are bursting okay. with questions. <laughs> We're going to go straight to them now and find out what they have to say about this powerful shield of faith. So we've just come back from a very powerful time in the Word of God concerning our shield of faith. I know that you have been stirred up in faith at home and you may have some questions concerning not just this piece of armor, but other armor too. If you want any questions answered, won't you email us at higherlife at myfaithtv.com and we will get back to you on those questions. But first of all, here in the studio, we have an audience that is eager and ready to ask their questions questions. Ladies in my studio audience, who has some questions concerning? Okay, this is awesome. I'm going to ask you in the second row, won't you stand? What is your question? I need to know as a parent, how do I act when someone is speaking negative toward my child? Mm, love that question. Panel, are you ready for that? As a parent, when you hear somebody break your child down or speak negatively about them, how do you respond? Titi, what do you have to say? Thank you very much. I can identify with you. Many years ago, my first son was told by his teacher that you belong to a retarded class. And he was actually taken to a class they call special class for retarded children. But this was a brilliant child. But the teacher, you know, as a figure, I mean, as a head in the school, I don't know what was it, they didn't just like my son. So we know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. We began to speak the word of God to change the situation that our son will not stay in a special class. So finally, the teacher decided, okay, if only we can get the state psychologist to, to examine the child. But because we have been speaking the word of God into the atmosphere, I don't care what anybody says about your child. It's what you say and what you believe that stands. So we kept on speaking the word of God over my son, and uh, we will not take whatever the teacher said over our son. We refuse it. And we knew it was an attack from the pit of hell. So the state psychologist came around, checked the boy, and he, she said, oh, this is an intelligent boy. Take him back to his class. Yes. So anyone who speaks negative over your son, well, what they say will hold no water. You stand your ground. It's what you say that matters over them, not what anybody says. Wow, Titi. Powerful, powerful way. And our children mean so much to us. They really do. What a powerful promise that is that we have from the Word of God. Remember, open your mouth and speak what the Word says. It'll always prevail. Nothing can stand against the truth of God's Word. Circumstances will change, but the Word remains forever. Put it in your mouth and speak it by faith over your children. Love that. Thank you. We have time for one more question. So studio audience, anybody else ready for a question? Ah. I'm going to ask right at the back there, won't you stand? Okay, being part of a younger generation, how do you find like-minded, faithful friends to stand with you? Love that. Very good question, panel. 
being part, uh, me being part of the younger generation <laughs> and all. How do we find like-minded people who are going to be there standing in faith together? You know how it is, how it's so easy to find people that are negative, but how do we find those that are like-minded to stand in faith together? And who's going to answer okay. this one? Ankia? Thank you so much. And it's amazing to see God raising the young, the young generation, wanting to stand strong in faith. You know, it says in Proverbs 27, verse 17, that iron sharpens iron and that friends form each other. And that's something that it doesn't matter what age you are that you must choose the people you fellowship with, the people you befriend. It doesn't mean you cannot be ministering in a sense that you can be f friendly to anyone. Jesus ministered to everyone, but he had his close circle who he called friends. Mm -hmm. And that's something you must take that decision daily. It's difficult sometimes because the moment you choose a friendship, people say you judge. It's not judging because you still love the people. Mm -hmm. But according to the word, you have to choose who's going to sharpen you, who's going to form you mm -hmm. according to God's word. So love choose it. wisely. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. Thank you, Anke. And remember, the word speaks about how corrupt character, it really does erode your own character. It's, it's so contagious. So whoever you want to be like, make sure you stay around those type of people because you will certainly rub off on each other. So thank you for that. Lovely awesome wisdom and those of you just to remind you again if we have not answered any questions that you might have had in your own mind in these sessions you can take those questions and email us at higherlife at myfaithtv.com and we'll get straight back to you well this concludes the third part of the shield of faith what a vital piece of armor we've learned about. What a powerful tool we have to walk in the victory that Jesus has already won for us. Won't you help me thank my panel who have been such a blessing, such an awesome source of wisdom to us. Thank you. And of course, our studio audience. <laughs> and you at home who have been such a blessing. And I'll tell you why. I know that you have received the word that has come across. It has enriched your lives. It has made you stronger in the Lord. And you have been letting us know by your emails just how much it has encouraged you. We love you and we appreciate you. Make sure you stay tuned for the next program that's coming. You do not want to miss out on the next part of Armour that's going to cause you to rise up in what God has for you. Until then, God bless you and goodbye. The way that God has created our minds, we've got the best computer in the world right, right inside here. And we start creating an expectation on what we feed ourselves with. And let me tell you, the enemy is going to deceive you and deceive your children. And what you agree upon is going to become your reality.